filming videos with my best friends. Not adjust your screen. You are now about to enter the world of the Knights of War. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. It has been quite a week here at the Knights of Horror, uh, as far as everyone goes. Uh, we have been bombarded with announcements, especially announcements on the same day, which was uh, Thursday, uh, uh, 7 21 uh, But we're, we're taking our sweet time at this point because we have so much to keep up with. We have so much to film that... I, I don't even care about racing to get the video out first. I just care about giving my thoughts and then releasing it when it gets released at this point. Not like late, late, but today we're going to be talking about uh, the one of two latest announcements from Halloween Horror Nights. Again, they gave us a two for, for announcements this week. Uh, last week, they gave us, of course, Texas Chainsaw Massacre and The Haunting of Hill House. This week, we got uh, The Curse of Pandora's Box, which we'll talk about tomorrow, and... The Exorcist, which we're talking about today. So, The Exorcist is returning. The last time we saw this house, maze, whatever you want to call it, was in 2016. Uh, which I would arguably agree that that was probably the most best year I've ever had at Halloween Horror Nights. Because the properties were great. Um, and there was not one maze I was disappointed with. And I just had a fun time overall. Exorcist is returning. This time, inside of Soundstage 29. The infamous soundstage that's hold the Stranger Things properties in the past. Uh, I'll give my opinions last. Rob, what do you think about the extras returning to Halloween Horror Nights? Um, I'm okay with it. Uh, you know, I'm one of those people who I just take everything into consideration. And I'm I'm not going to say glad Exorcist is there, but I do, I do look on the bright side and think like, okay, well, they're moving into a soundstage. Um, last time we had it in, in 2016, it wasn't in a soundstage. It was by the mummy queue, if I'm yes. correct. Um, so I'm hoping that as far as I don't think we're going to get too many new scenes. I hope we get a new scene, but what my hopes are for is that maybe we just get some more detail being is that it, it, it is in a soundstage and we're, they're going to have more control over the environment, over the air, all that, all that good stuff that comes with putting a maze in a soundstage. So that's kind of my hopes. I don't expect anything really new, but I'm expecting more um, of the fine details to be a little more there. Sammy, what about you? What you think, man? This is going to be the first time you ever get to see this maze. Well, I, I want to say one thing. I want to be able to rebuttal whatever Anthony says because I know he's going to take a large deuce on this announcement. He's already <laughs> made that known. So I'm going to rebuttal <laughs> everything he says after he's done. So yeah, um, we'll, we'll get him after. Warned. Um, I think everyone's been quite negative about this Hold announcement. On. I have my fucking reasons why I... I <laughs> okay? I have my reasons. I've been through it. You have not. So you cannot say a word about this. If anyone can say a word about it, it's fucking Rob because he's been through it. Okay. <laughs> but I've also seen the film. And I know that it is arguably top three scariest movies of all time. That movie changed horror as we know it. Right? I saw the And so, so we, we can agree on that thus far. Um, and I also think with it becoming the soundstage, ideally in a very ideal world, and I'm going to try to live in an ideal world, a very I like positive that. I world. I like that. Um, they can control many things. Right. One, soundstage allows for larger facade. 
Um, and so I think we're going to get a very beautiful facade. Um, and if you start with a good first impression, I think you can start to ignore the little mistakes I'll make throughout. Because um, arguably, no maze or home or house, whatever you want to call it, is perfect. Um, I don't think I've ever heard and I also call a maze a home. Unless it's home to me. It's the scare actors that work it. And they call it home first. <laughs> it's homey. It's homey. <laughs> it's home. Well, we're going to be entering in a house. Exactly. I was in like, the irony though. in that, right? We're in a house, so it's a home now. It's a home. <laughs> home is where the heart is, and my heart will be there. Probably the and last my heart home will I'd go want to be in. <laughs> True. That's right. <laughs> True. True. But actually, no, I have one other home I don't want to be in. Is that the Warren's house? Um, no, no. Well, okay, two other homes. Uh, <laughs> Warren's home and that house where the, the nun uh, was uh, well, actually for Emilyville. Not trying to be there. Well, the nun was in the, the Warren's house. So that's the. So Warren- the Anyone the nun's been is really, I don't want to be. <laughs> <laughs> Sammy just does not like the nun. No, we, we, we don't get along. Understandable. We don't get, you we don't get along. You would have been Just saying. Oh, yeah, we would have been. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to put this out there. We do not fully condone hitting or touching scare actors. It's no, just, but sometimes you, accidentally, you, sometimes you accidentally swing. On Sammy's, he's going to say accidentally, but he, know, he knows exactly what he was doing. <laughs> oh, gosh, my bad, my bad. <laughs> That's on me. That's on me. Yeah. Uh, but back to, but back, to, yeah. back, back to what matters here, the exorcist. Um, I think also, as, as Rob said, with control also comes temperature. Right. And so I t- fully expect as we go into the room of a, our good friend Reagan, um, it's going to be nice and cold. Yeah. Hopefully they do a little smells. You know, we get to smell the vomit a little bit. Um, I'd rather you know, not. Just to, you know, really, to, uh, you know, I'm all about immersion. I want to be there. Yeah. And I think that's what makes that movie scary is being in there. Yes. Um, and so, you know. If they can do a little something. Not, not like, I don't want to be vomiting with her, but like, <laughs> like mm, don't smell too good in here. Just saying, if you guys are planning on going to um, this maze, don't go on a full stomach. Yeah. Um, and the other thing, too, is, uh, I mean, the the spider walk down the stairs. I mean, who's not excited for that? Yeah. I mean, come on. Yes. Um, and then hopefully too, we get to watch the, the priest. Fun fact about that is that's only on the uh, the version you've never seen, director's cut of the film. The spider walk. It's not in the regular version. Yeah. So. Yeah. You want to see that scene, original? You have to There's a lot of versions of that movie. That movie. The version you never seen, I think, is the best one. I because that's the one I own, and I, I've seen the original. I've seen the version you've never seen, and there's a lot more scenes and and more scary. There's moments. so many. There's so many cuts. There's yeah. that movie has way too many cuts. Like so I think Blade you Runner, never know. So. I mean, I don't. I don't. That's not what we can talk about. <laughs> <laughs> um, but so I think that's going to be good. And I, and I think, like, once again, as I go back to my, my first point, it's just one of the scariest movies of all time. Right. Um, and so I think as long as everyone goes in there to have a good time, I, I think it's going to I think it's gonna deliver. I, I mean, I don't think it's going to fall short. I mean, you just said 2016, arguably best year. Yeah. So, I mean, and that was probably probably a, one of the better mazes that year. I wouldn't say the best because I don't know the entire lineup off the top of my head, but... Um, I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you go. Take that number two now. Go, go on, Tony. <laughs> uh, so, Exorcist was arguably one of the best mazes I've ever seen at Horror Nights. Uh, I'll start off with that. Uh, however, I believe unless you haven't seen it, for example, this is gonna be more towards Sammy because Rob has seen it. It's not unless and, and, and unless they do a lot of changes, and I, I won't know for certain till I go through it. But unless you haven't seen it, there's not much more they can add. Um, Murdy came out and said this was the hardest maze he ever had to design because the entire film takes place in one room, which is true. the The entire film is in Reagan's room. The majority of the film, there's there's scenes here and there where you know you're you're seeing Father Marin uh, or Father Damien, you know arrive or go to the church or you know uh, obviously you get the opening scene where they're in um i think they're in i think don't quote me i think they're in like jerusalem or something doing like a architect kind of they're in the they're in the middle east i know that much um so 
I mean, there's that scene, but there's not really much scary to that. It's just about the the whole demon statue, which Pazuzu is like that. That's his true form right there. So that's how that got got that got uncovered, and then that whole thing went to. Anyway, the whole movie takes place in one fil- uh, one thing, and the and the biggest problem, and it wasn't even a problem to me when I first went through it, was all the black walls. Obviously, it's no secret now, and we talk about it many times on this channel. You'll hear it from other content creators who cover HHN in Hollywood. Black walls is an issue. Obviously, um, you know, black walls are, are a way to cover up something or a scene that when they ran out of budget, this is how they had to replace it. That being said, we are getting less mazes than we usually do. So I would imagine all their budget's going to try to fill every room as possible, which this is ultimately a test for the future of H. Yeah, I know he's naughty. No, but you, you never know. I mean, this ultimately will be a test for the future of HHN to see should we do six mazes where we could put more of a budget into, or do we continue to do our nine and not put as much of a budget into certain properties other than other ones? My biggest issue was it was uh, I've already seen this. There's not much they can change unless they surprise me. I mean, I, I imagine it's going to be the same layout. Only difference is it going to be in a soundstage, and that was the only. That's what's only keeping me excited about it when I got the confirmation that it's going to be in a soundstage because of. Uh, you know, environment and and everything that you can you can make it you can make it way colder in there now because you know anybody who's seen The Exorcist, there's scenes where when they walk in the room, their breath you can see their breath because it's so cold. When they say with demonic p- possession and whatnot, it gets re- the room temperature drops. Same thing with Paranormal Activity, room temperature drops. So that will be cool to do. Um, also, we know in the past we never really gotten a facade for any maze that's gone in there. And that's both seasons of Stranger Things. I could have thought of two facades they could have easily done. Um, Stranger Things 1 was great. I think they utilized the space well. Stranger Things 2 obviously was a disappointment. Uh, We've mentioned that many times. But I I don't know. I, I just don't see what else they can do with this film. I mean, the film is phenomenal. The Maze in 2016 was phenomenal. And I am very thankful to be having an event this year. I just think there's other returning properties that I could have went better with to get a second run than Exorcist. Like, you know, I love The Exorcist. I think it's a great film, and I think The Maze was fun, but it, I, I just... Something's got to shock me when I go through this maze. What would you have rather seen? if you? Because you said a returning maze. What would you have rather seen there? And no, you can't see Killer Clown's face. space. No, because that's a returning maze, so I could say that if I want to. But you... It, it, <sighs> But the besides, okay, three. besides Killer Clowns, besides Killer Clowns, yeah. what's a maze you would want to see come back? I'd like to see them do the Shining. Give me three. The Shining. Three of them. So the Shining. Um, let's see what else. I would have been okay with Creepshow coming back. I liked Creepshow. Creepshow was pretty good in recent years. Um, or bring back a fan. Would you favorite. say Creepshow? Uh, a fan favorite. Would you say, say Creepshow? Say... Will... Oh, okay. There's obviously a delay between you say... and Sammy, so let, let's. I'll let you. Yeah, I was gonna. Go. I was going to say, would you say Creepshow is better than Exorcist? Because you did say in the beginning, one of the best bases you've ever been in. It is one of the best bases I've been in when I went the one time and knowing that I'd probably never go back through it again until this year. Um, I felt like with Creepshow, because it was an anthology, that every room that you went in, it was something different of either the movie, a a different scene or skit from the movie or the show. So it was cool because... Mm -hmm. You're not you. You were going through this maze, and every time you walked into a different room, it was something different. And it was something that if you watched the film, if you've seen some of the show, you were gonna get the references. But at the time when that maze came out, the show wasn't out. But I, you know, I, I'm hearing you know they they just uh, wrapped production or they're starting production with Creep Show season three, so it'd be a great promotion to do Creep Show. Um, I'm trying to remember a lot of the mazes that I went through in the past. I, I think another fan favorite that could return that would be a lot of people would be happy with would be the Curse of La Llorona. Um Yeah, I I agree. That uh, you know, a lot of people are scared of that. You know that that um that you know that what are they, what is it what do they call them? Tall tales is that is that the appropriate word for them or yeah. Sure. There's another word for it. They're like bed. They're like like I don't know. Not not nice bedtime stories. Folklore. I guess. Folklore. <laughs> there, you folklore. Folklore. there you go. Folklore. Folklore. Um, yeah. Yeah. That was a fan favorite for 2010, 2011. That was one of the first mazes I ever went through going to the event too, and I would love to see it return. Mm-hmm. On top of that, makes it more originals, and 
I'm pretty sure they, I mean, I know they have a lot of those props left over because they constantly use the big Lyarona prop all the time in other mazes or other scare zones like they did in uh, All Hell is Evil. Um, so that would be one of them. Um, I'm trying to think. Of, I, it's been so long, dude. It really has. Uh, what about you, Rob? Uh, Rob, I think you got some brewing. American Werewolf, man. American, American Werewolf. Werewolf. Yeah, really I that I bring that back in a heartbeat and put it in a sound stage. It'd be yes, oh dude, that'd be amazing. Especially when you feel like you're going outside. I mean, depending on the night you went, I mean that was in the that was in the old Jurassic Park queue. Yeah, but depending on the night you went, it looked cool the night scenes. But imagine that being in you know the weather, you can control weather and stuff. That'd be really cool. I I would like to see that too. Um, I ju I'm just saying if Exorcist is coming back, I mean I remember a lot of. I, it's not a hard layout to forget. Like, you can go back and watch a video and remember the layout, but, I mean, I remember the layout for the fucking maze. It's not a hard layout to fucking forget, you know what I mean? So, yeah. I mean, I, I'm going to walk into this maze with very low expectations because I'm going to I'm gonna have the mindset of assuming it's going to be the same recycled thing from 2016. Not much has changed. I'm hoping I walk out of that maze shocked and thinking to myself, that one was better than 2016. That's what I want to walk out as. But as as of right now, going into the event, going into that maze, low expectations mm -hmm. and thinking it's going to be the same thing. Would you say at this point it is the maze that you have the the least expectancy for? No. <laughs> the least. <laughs> you can't say the Walking Dead. No, it's not the Walking Dead. The least expectancy <laughs> maze I have the least expectations for, if it's true mm -hmm. and it's all hearsay for now, hasn't been announced mm -hmm. yet. Would would be speculating oh, all in uh, four. I know. Yeah, water real quick. Okay. Yeah, that's my least expectation. The, okay. Exorcist is number two on least expectations. Because at least with Exorcist, I'll know I'll get scared. I know I will. Reagan, <laughs> Exorcist, that's one of the only horror movies that's ever scared me to this day. Still does. I can't watch that movie after a certain time unless I'm with somebody. <laughs> like, that's how, that, that's how much of an impact. I mean, Reagan is... That was a first, that was one of the first I mean there's probably been many more before it but that was one of the first possession movies that took it to a whole new level and that set the bar for the future of movies like that like Conjuring had to step it up when that movie came out and it did Insidious is the same way it had to step it up you know a lot of demonic possession movies going forward had to raise the bar past the exorcist and I think Conjuring and Insidious did that but there's just something about Reagan when you look at her, especially when she's possessed. It's it's such a scary and eerie feeling, even when you're by yourself. It's just, I mean, yeah. let's put it this way, dude. When I went in 2016, I fucking took a rosary with me. That's how scared I was. <laughs> that is how scared I was. Literally, I'm not even like, and I may do the same thing this year. I may do the same thing this year because I don't fuck with that shit, bro. I don't. I don't. That is a line that I will draw right there. Will you be will you be yelling in this major your favorite line from that entire movie? Your mother sucks cocks and hell. <laughs> um, I would like to. Uh, you just throw it out. I have, two, I have two favorite lines in that movie though. It, it's that one is, is always a fan favorite, and a lot of people like that. Um, I've heard metal bands make songs around that phrase. I've seen shirts and merchandise around that phrase. Another one that I love she does is is at the high point when Father Marin shows up to the house. And she just screams, Marin! So I'll probably be screaming that too every time I see Marin. So, I mean, that's I can see, just my I can see you it. doing that. That's just my thoughts on it. I mean, like I said, I hope it blows me away, but I'm going in with the low expectations right now. So that's just me. But uh, what do you guys think of the maze? What do you guys, what do you, are you excited for Exorcist returning? Are you excited to, for a lot of people who never get to, didn't get to experience it in 2016, are you excited to go see it for the first time? <laughs> Uh, but for the people that have gotten seen in 2016, are you excited that it's returning or do you guys wish another property would replace it? Leave some comments down below. Let us know what you guys would love for it to be instead of The Exorcist or if you are excited for it. Uh, we'd love to hear your guys' thoughts and comments about it. Uh, also, hit that like button. It only takes a quick second. It helps us a lot with the algorithm with YouTube. Gets our content pushed out there uh, for uh, more viewership so people can hear our opinions about it because I don't think a lot of people care about our opinions, but we're going to keep releasing them anyway so yep uh also 
hit that subscribe button if you guys are brand new to the channel and hit that bell notification right next to it to be aware every time we put up a brand new video on the channel we've been putting up a lot lately because we've been getting announcements left and right between various haunts conventions other things so be sure to uh, check on that sammy social media hit it buddy hit it fergie Hey, Fergie. <laughs> Look at Rob's ready. Uh, well, you, you made it too easy for me. Um, so hit us up on Twitter at Knights of Horror and on Instagram at The Knights of Horror. And go. we'll be happy to have a conversation with you. Slide in those DMs. We're always happy to talk. We all, and you can, and anyone that we've talked to in the past, we always do reply. Even if we like, if, if you get a, just a, a like message from us, either me and Sammy are really busy and we read it real quick and just kind of liked what you said. But usually we go back and, and, and we'll, we'll message you guys and stuff. So um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you guys are excited for Horror Nights as, I, as we are, not just me. We are. Um, tune in tomorrow. We're going to be talking about the Curse of Pandora's box. With all that being said, I'm your host, Anthony. That's Samuel. That's Rob. We are the Knights of Horror. And we will see you guys at Halloween Horror Nights. Peace.